Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. Three ingredients I really love, chicken, lemon, and pepper. And I thought, what if we combine these all together and make kind of a takeout dish? Did it, and it turned out super, super delicious. So let me walk you through this, and let's get started. First up, what I've got are three boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So I'm just going to grab up one of these guys and cut them into bite-sized chunks. Maybe something like this. You can make them as big or as small as you like. Crack in one egg. Well, let's get cracking here. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. A good pinch of salt, just to bring out some flavors. And of course some ground black pepper. Take the best kitchen utensil I have, my hands, and I'm just going to massage the chicken until it's completely coated. And believe me, chickens love this massage. And we're just going to set this aside and go ahead and make up the sauce. To do this, I'm going to combine a cup of chicken stock. And you can use vegetable stock, whatever you like, but it is chicken, so I like chicken stock. With two tablespoons of soy sauce. Three tablespoons of brown sugar, just to bring out that sweetness and balance out the flavors. The zest of half a lemon. Now I should mention you don't want to go too far into the white of the lemon, otherwise it'll become really bitter. So just kind of the surface. I just love the smell of zesting lemon. Cut this guy in half and simply juice it in. And if you don't have a juicer, you can just squeeze it in using a strainer because you don't want those pits in there. But make sure you extract all those wonderful juices. And if you don't have fresh lemon on hand, you know, you can use the concentrated lemon juice. I just like the fresh lemon. Go ahead and grate in a thumb-sized ginger. This is another one of my favorite spices. I have so many favorite spices. <laughs> a clove of garlic. Now you can adjust these spices according to your taste, add more or less. And if you don't have a grater, you don't want to grate it, you can always chop it up too. Oh, believe me, guys, this sauce is starting to smell so good. For a little bit of heat, about a teaspoon of sriracha. This is totally optional, but I like the word sriracha. Of course, it is lemon pepper chicken, so I'm going to add in some pepper. And you want a fairly, fairly generous application of this. So I'd say, you know, a teaspoon or two. And last but not least, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and this will just thicken things up. Give everything a whisk until it's well combined. Before we cook the dish, I'd like to extend an invitation to visit our social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll put a link in the description section below. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little notification bell. That way, you'll never miss a video we release. Next up, I'm going to add two tablespoons of so of oil to a preheated pan. You can use vegetable oil, olive oil, I'm using olive oil here, whatever you like. Add the chicken in. And we're going to fry this up until it's cooked through, and this will probably take, oh, I'd say four or five minutes, something like that. Now, I should mention too, guys, this is over medium-high heat. Another tip, too, is if you don't like to fry it, you can always go ahead and bake it. Now the chicken is beautifully brown. We're just going to go ahead and pour the sauce in. And give it a stir until it thickens. Now the sauce is beginning to thicken. We're just about done here and this looks and smells incredible. I'm just going to give it a taste test and see if it needs anything else. 
This is just about perfect, so we're going to turn off the heat and you're good to go. We're going to go ahead and serve this up beside a bed of steaming hot rice. I just love it this way. And of course you're going to want to spoon some of that delicious sauce over top of your rice. Just look at this. Yum. Garnish it up with some chopped green onion, some sesame seeds. This dinner would not be complete without sesame seeds. And of course, a few slices of lemon wedges. And there you have it, our 30 minute lemon pepper chicken. Now the moment I always love, the taste test. Mmm. Mmm. So good, so good. You know how you eat some recipes or eat some dishes and you get that kind of, oh it's good, but this comes in waves. First of all you get the little bit of sourness from the lemon, then after that you get the sweetness, then after that you get the heat from the sriracha and the pepper, and it all combined with the spices, it all combines so nicely. Mmm. I'm going to eat more of this. You've got to try it. So for the full scoop on this recipe and many more 30-minute recipes, which we all love, head on over to cookandshare.com, give us a thumbs up, and thanks for subscribing, and see you next time.